What's up nerds? I'm back with another Thirsty Thursday. This is where we feature another channel while we work on something, okay? So I've got a ton of stuff going on around here. Stuff just piled up. I mean, this thing's been sitting here for two weeks and I haven't even unboxed it yet. But I told myself I was gonna stick to this Thirsty Thursday, feature a new channel each week because I think it's important to share the love and it also, I'm getting to see a lot of new channels that I haven't watched before. So this week we're talking about Outspoken RC. He's got some really cool builds. One of them, the Lot Lizard, is just like the semi build and a lot of cool stuff going on. It looked like he was moving into a new space. So he hadn't posted in a while, but then I seen he's kind of um, in the last day or so, looks like he's got into his new space. And so I figure a lot of things to come there. So definitely check him out. I'll try to put some pictures of some of his stuff up here um, while we're working on this. But today we're gonna try to paint this body with kitty litter. No, oh, I'm just kidding. So, um, being that I have a new shop cat, I've got plenty of these buckets around, right? So, um, this is actually going to hold our water. We're going to try to hydro dip this, and this is my first shot at this. Never tried it. Always thought it looked pretty easy and pretty cool, but I can mess anything up. So, um, you guys are going to come along for the ride. Now, I'm not good at painting bodies. So I thought, hey, this looks like it's kind of foolproof, right? I don't know. I've never tried it, but we're getting ready to find out. If it works with the 24, I've got a couple of 10 scale bodies I'd like to do. So um, let's get started. All right, quick color reference here. I will link all of these in the description. I've changed my mind about five times on these. I was going to go five colors. Now I've just decided to go four. I'm afraid if we do too many, we won't see hardly any of any of them. So I have a PS63 gunmetal. PS1 white, PS49 sky blue, PS28 translucent or fluorescent green. I'm sorry. So um, I don't know what we're going to get out of that. We are using this cliffhanger body. I think this is one of the cheap like AliExpress ones. I do got to mask my windows real quick and then we're going to get started. So I recruited Sophie because she is the artistic one in the family. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try to hydro dip this, right? Yep. You think we'll do it or will we mess it up? Mm, it doesn't matter. If we mess it up, it's totally going to be my fault because really? I never know what I'm doing. Why are you doing this? <laughs> it really doesn't matter oh, what you the, do. The cat's calling. And we've, on the e we've even got a spectator. <laughs> oh, he fell. All right. So, which color do you want to start with? Green. Green. All right. Are you going to spray it? Yeah. Or just get kind of down there and. Shh, shh. All right. Do whichever one you want next. So this being our first attempt at this and Sophie's first time doing it, um, we were a little slow. Our main thing we learned in this process was to be quick with it. So for me personally, like later, I just grabbed a can in each hand and I would just spray them both at the same time and then just be quick when you go to dip. Our first batch, you'll see... It was just really stringy and just really wasn't going to stick to the body well. It's a good idea to have a stick around to kind of mix the colors. So when you spray it in there, if you're not getting sort of the mix that you want, you can kind of stir the colors around. But the key thing is to just be quick. That's really what we learned. You'll see here that this is, it just kind of starts to set up on us and it's real stringy and just kind of sticks to the stick. So um, we just started over, you know, just started spraying some more and went with it. And it, it turned out just fine. Part of it was just, you know, I was trying to teach Sophie the technique we needed to use, even though I didn't really know what I was doing. So you guys know how that works out when you're doing stuff with kids. It, it just takes a little bit of time. And she did excellent, you know, and now that she knows that we got to be quick and you can see here, I'm just kind of hitting it a little bit quicker. Uh, and then she knows the dipping process and everything. It worked really well. So don't be afraid to mess it up. Our first coat was really, I was kind of worried that it was just going to be a mess, but we just kept doing it over and over. And eventually um, we got good coverage on it and was able to uh, move on to backing. There we go. It's a bit different now. Yeah. Kind of beer juice thing. <laughs> that is pretty wild looking though. Mm. So let's let's. I think that'll be good. Yeah. And then we'll once it dries, beer, pick all these strings out. Beer juice theme. And then we'll spray the inside again. 
That is pretty wild looking though. I like this, how we got some dark back in there. Definitely looks different in there than I kind of expected. I don't know if that's because we messed up. We let it sit in there too long or if that's just how it looks. And then now we will sort of pick out these pieces like this that are webbed and then we'll spray something in there. I don't know what color. I'm probably gonna go with a little bit darker like inside to kind of back this. And then the colors should should show up even more. So this is dry now. And you can see, I think it looks pretty dang good. Like this is, this is awesome, okay? Um, you do get like some webbing in there. So just trying to kind of knock some of that out knock it flat or out and just the cool thing about this is like it really doesn't matter what it looks like we're kind of light on the rear end here it looks like maybe we could have dipped this again but i think it looks pretty freaking awesome so i'm going to try to spray this ps39 in here to get a little more blue showing through i think it'd be cool with some blue and then we will finalize it with a sort of dark gunmetal. So the gunmetal we used in here was like a lighter. I have a darker gunmetal. So we're going to try that. And then something that I normally do is just spray like clear flex seal in these bodies when I'm done to sort of hold the, uh, keep the paint from chipping out. wow okay see how just spraying a different color inside like really kind of kind of gives it a different look a little darker we've got some blue mixed in there now i like it now that the translucent blue has dried i'm going to hit it with this ps23 gunmetal and see what happens so this is really going to kind of start to fill in where the body's clear and we can see through it because this is still a ways from being painted solid and it, it's definitely filling in you can see it's bringing in a darker side to it so if you want a lighter color for your last kind of coat here you would do a lighter color to fill in all those spots and I may actually switch it up and do a little light in there because it's it's really getting dark so let's hit it with some blue maybe i don't know i want i want more blue to show through so there we go if i could spray straight it would help yeah see that okay that's looking really cool back there with the blue and the green mix really like that nice so i don't know if we'll actually see any of this yellow when we pull this outer off this is on the outside i think but nothing else i'm at least using a color that i never use for anything else to kind of back this up i think i'm going to hit it maybe one more time with a dark in there just so i don't have to look at yellow <laughs> on the inside and then i'll probably hit it with some clear flex seal that just kind of seals it i've tried to use all sorts of clear and stuff and the paint just scratches and scrapes off the inside real easy. So I always just hit it with a little bit of real light, clear flex seal or black flex seal, whatever you want to use, but a real light coat. All right, so Sophie gets to unveil the finished body. And I guess Butthead's gonna help you. This cat is obsessed with this girl right here. Whatever she's doing. Oh, what do you think? That looks good. 
Oh man. Sophie, that's freaking amazing. I love it. What do you think? You like it? Yeah, it's good. I think it looks really good. Turned out better than I thought it would, honestly. That's awesome. That's why I picked you to help because you are very good at artwork. So I showed this once before. Sophie drew my favorite truck. Mm -hmm. That's my SCX6 Honcho. Yeah, right there. Yeah, right, right there. there. And I showed it before, but I don't think she got all the love that she needed for it. So huh. give us a thumbs up. Give her a thumbs up if you like either one of these. And we're going to show her that her creations can get more likes than any video I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Period. So mm -hmm. hit the thumbs up right now so that she gets more likes than any video I've ever had, ever. He needs that play button. Let's do it. Hit it. All right. Check that out. Close up. The camera will focus. Looks so good. So I love how this thing turned out. I've actually already went and ordered some new paint, some lane flake and stuff for a 10 scale body. I'm going to do one of those. And so I'm thrilled with this thing. You guys let me know what you think about it. Definitely go check out Outspoken RC. He is the feature channel this week. Give, give him a like, check him out, give him a chance to earn your sub. I appreciate you guys watching. Peace.